Henry Cantu from San Antonio, Texas. Born and raised. Artist known for different things like uh, graffiti art, graphic design, and airbrushing. I started spray painting at about 13 years old. Uh, it was one of those things that I was really curious about. We didn't have all the cool stuff that we have now, you know, the advanced caps and different types of paints and stuff like that. Um, so it was something that I really built through time on how to perfect my art. I noticed that the different colors playing off each other was more impactful than anything else. My brief history goes from airbrushing to um, calligraphy, uh, graphic design, um, graffiti. It just, I combined everything and made it a collective of stuff that I do. When I was contacted by San Antonio, the city of San Antonio, uh, they had seen my Facebook page and someone had given them a tip on an artist who had done uh, you know, different types of work. Uh, it was probably about 2.30 in the morning and um, I had this idea in my head to put an essay together. When I saw the wall, 184 feet, I was kind of intimidated. I didn't know where to start, I didn't know how to start, and that was the biggest part was, you know, where do you go, where do you begin? So I started from the center and I worked out. The only way I knew how to do it, how to create the balance and just paint. Um, I think we went through three, 400 cans of paint. My dad had a lot of input on the mural. Um, every day he was like, get up, we gotta go, get up, we gotta go. So my dad was the one who was pushing me every day to get this thing done. Towards the end of the project, uh, I had a great idea. What I decided to do was use the children as the white picket fence to guard this whole mural. He reached out to San Antonio. I reached out to several local businesses, about five different of them, and we got sponsored. We put little bags, gift bags together for all the kids. We had the kids come out and they had one task, draw a flower, draw your best flower on the wall. So it was going to be a little garden in front of this big mural to protect it. And uh, it worked rather well. It's been, uh, I think about two years now and it hasn't been touched. Great feeling, but at the same time, it wasn't, it wasn't just me. I mean, you had the people at the Gillette business who every day encouraging you, man, it looks awesome, it looks great. So that gives you that motivational power you need to keep pushing. I got to speak to a lot of the local uh, neighborhood people there um, and tell them, you know, thank you for the great support. They would pass by and honk at me or they would stop by and just say, you know, how beautiful it looked. So it was a great impact on the community. It inspires people to want to do something big. And I try to motivate everybody I come in contact with to say, hey, Man, I'm, I'm just like you. If I can do it, you can do it. So everything I had learned from a kid to what I know now as an adult uh, was kind of putting to, it was being put to play. Graffiti has such a bad name to it now that I think it's one of those things where it's starting to evolve into a cultural art. Not necessarily contemporary. Um, it's more of a street hype, but it's, it's an art form. And uh, there's people out there who are doing great things with it. Um, the city of San Antonio, I think, needs more recognition. It's very low-key when it comes to art, but it's, it's heavy. It's heavy in the streets. It's everywhere. There's color all around town. Some is vandalization. Some is beautiful uh, murals. But at the same time, it, and as a collection, it's all art. You know, the, the greats back then didn't know what they were doing. They just know that this was art, and that's what they did. So a small little sculpture compared to a great masterpiece it was the same category, it was art. So that's kind of how I see San Antonio. We drive around and I'll see a, you know, a tag on the highway and just getting up there is, is wild. But knowing that all of it is one unison of, of art, it's, 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 it's pretty cool to know that you're a part of it. So I think that's where my appreciation for the form comes in, where you're categorized with all these people who are actually doing something in San Antonio and your name's kind of dropped into the hat because you dared to play that one game that you, you kind of knew was either going to make you or break you.